from the 1st of April. This guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fajira if you're joining me for the very first time I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family for my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos I really do appreciate God bless you if you're new to this channel I create contents on how you can migrate to the UK jobs with visa sponsorship in the UK UK immigration updates live in the UK scholarships in the UK like everything you can think about the UK so if you're someone who is interested in such content or you know anybody who may be interested in such content do hit on that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video you're definitely going to be the very first person to see that video so guys without wasting so much of your time let's quickly dive right into today's video but before we do that please do like and share this video with your friends and loved ones someone may find it helpful like we all know there has been so much panic right now regarding the care worker visa the code 6145 and code 6146 and, and some people have come to me to say they heard that the code has been removed from the shortage occupation list this 2024 one thing i would like to advise you and also encourage you to do that each time you hear anything like that please do your own independent research even before you do anything regarding your immigration because someone may just spoil your immigration history if you're not doing your independent research now the shortage occupation list if you don't know what that is the list where you will find all the jobs that are in high demand in the uk so just as you can see on my screen the shortage occupation list shows a list of occupations where there's a shortage of skilled labor in the uk the migration advisory committee which is the mark provides recommendations on the jobs to be placed on the shortage occupation list this list is regularly reviewed and updated if the job is on the shortage occupation list the full salary threshold does not need to be met the salary for the job on the shortage occupation list must equal or exceed twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds per yeah this is currently what you have to earn as a care worker to be able to get a visa to come to the uk to work in the care organization or 10 pounds 75 per hour and 80 percent of the going rate for the occupation code the going rate refers to the minimum salary for a particular occupation code currently if you want to come to the uk to work in the care industry or as a carer or a senior carer the salary threshold you need to earn between now and from when the shortage occupation list will be reviewed is twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds or ten pounds seventy five per hour that's what you have to earn for you to be qualified to get a cos to apply for a visa and move to the uk to come and work as a carer from the first of april the salary will be reviewed because that's the beginning of a new financial year for the uk in the last tax year it was about 20,400 pounds yes because we entered the new financial year which is going to end by the 31st of march this year in the new financial year we are going to start in april definitely the salary will be reviewed but for everyone who has been saying they had that the job has been removed from the shortage occupation list currently the job is still on the shortage occupation list i will also share a document of what the government is saying about it and if you go through the shortage occupation list you will see a lot of jobs with their various job codes and the code 6145 and the code 6146 they are still on the shortage occupation list the government have not removed it they only said they were going to review it which i'm also going to share what the uk government have said about that so for everyone who has been asking me Fakira, how much do i need to earn for me to be able to get a job in the uk as a care worker and to be able to apply for my visa you need to earn twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds currently until there is a change for now no changes have been made to it and you have to earn 10 pounds 75 so don't let anybody deceive you the salary has not been changed the only thing that has been changed right now when it comes to the care worker visa is that you cannot apply with your dependent from the 11th of march 2024 so this means that if you even receive your cos on the 10th of march and you're able to put in your visa application for you and your dependents you can still come to the uk with your dependents so those who are going to apply for their visa on the 11th of march they cannot apply with their dependents as a care worker or as a senior carer i'm going to share what the government have said regarding the shortage occupation list future replacement of the shortage occupation list a significant plan for spring 2024 is the replacement of the shortage occupation list with the immigration salary list 
This new list will maintain the general threshold discount but will not include the 20% going rate salary discount for shortage occupations. For care workers, because of the 20% that was removed, they are currently earning £20,960. So by the time they add that 20% back, it will still be maybe around £24,000 per annum. It's definitely not going to be up to 38700 for you to be able to bring your dependents over. So this is going to happen in spring. They did not say they are removing code 6145 or code 6146 from the shortage occupation list. Reduction in shortage occupations following the five points immigration plan and the increase in the skilled worker salary thresholds there is an ongoing review to potentially reduce the number of shortage occupations included in the new immigration salary list bearing in mind that this will be published in spring we're going to be in spring from ending of march so it's definitely going to be in the new financial year which is going to be from april so for now guys the government have not said they have removed the care worker or they intend to remove the care workers or the senior carers from the shortage occupation list they have not said that they always said that they are currently reviewing this and it will be published in spring so this is just what it is guys the, the care worker code 6145 currently currently is still on the shortage occupation list and, and the salary threshold for that is twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds until there is a change or £10.75 so don't let anybody deceive you bear in mind that there are some care organizations that even pay up to £25,000 per annum I've seen an offer later that a care worker is earning £26,000 I think that was sometime last year so it's not that because they have said it's going to be £20,960 per annum all care homes are actually paying their employees that amount some are paying higher but you cannot pay lesser than that bear in mind that one of the benefits as well you get when you apply for a job on the shortage occupation list is that your visa fee will be reduced and in most codes i think all the codes you have to pay for your ihs fee except the care worker and senior care worker codes you don't have to pay for ihs so this is just what it is the care worker visa or uh, the code 6145 is still on the list currently this is going to be reviewed and once the list is published in spring i will definitely film a video and share with you and also to let you know that there are so many jobs as well that will also be added to the shortage occupation list so if you're currently giving up on the care job or this or the senior carer role don't give up still be rest assured that they are reviewing the list and once it's published there will be new codes that will be added to the list and you may be lucky and these new codes are codes that you can come with your dependents currently the ones that you can't come with your dependents is a code 6145 and code 6146 not all codes so just these two codes i think someone was asking me how about code 6141 you're still allowed to come with your dependents any other code you are on you're allowed to migrate to the uk with your dependent only code 6145 and code 6146 the care worker codes these two codes are still on the shortage occupation list look out for other codes you can apply for okay so this brings us to the end of today's video and if you find this video helpful please do like and also share with your friends and loved ones because someone may also find it helpful and if you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family please do hit on that subscribe button Turn on the notification bell so each time i share a new video you're definitely going to be the very first person to see that video until i see you in my next video do take care and have a lovely day thank you very much for watching bye for now